um, a little uh, background information about what this movie is about. Um, this summer, actually, I uh, visited Colombia with my brother and a few a uh, few friends. Um, at first, it actually was just a trip to experience, you know, experience a new culture, get away from school and work, leave everything behind, and immerse ourselves into um, a different culture. So, however, one of our day trips actually included a hike up in the mountains um, to experience everything between, you know, the locals who lived there and the crazy, crazy views from the high altitudes that overlooked literally everything. Uh, to our surprise, uh, once we reached the top of the mountains, we were introduced to two men who not only lived there, but had a business there. Uh, they owned only one of a handful of um, regulated and protected coffee plantations, uh, which is very interesting because that's not something that you would see a lot because there's only a handful, a few that actually exist. Um, of course, we were able to taste the fresh brewed Colombian coffee, which was amazing. Uh, but they did let us in on some inf information regarding the rituals that occur there. Um, so a few yards away from us, there was actually um, a small hut that was made out of... The body was made out of stone and the top was made out of straw. Um, and the young man began, began to explain to us the ceremonies um, involving a drug called Ay Ay I'm sorry, ayahuasca. Basically what ayahuasca is is it's a plant that has the power to bring powerful, powerful hallucinations to whoever consumes it. And in order for the rituals to be performed, um, a group must be gathered and a shaman must, must, must be present, uh, guiding the group through their quote-unquote quote journey. Um, as the men explained, it's a very dangerous journey to complete um, if it's not done correctly, which is why uh, it is up the utmost importance to complete the ceremony correctly um, and not just consume it for the effects that it has. Um, while consuming the drug, there are a few not so pleasant um, experiences that come along with it. Uh, a lot of the side effects include vomiting, uh, I'm sorry, vomiting, urinating, uh, getting diarrhea, and actually a lot of it occurs relatively at the same time. So, um, however, in the eyes of the Colombians, this is seen as good, um, good as it like as it uh, rids your body of all the negativities that it holds and all the toxins, whether it's physical toxins or uh, spiritual toxins. Um, it is said that after the ceremony, the drug has the ability to completely cleanse your cleanse your mind and spirit, and uh, even sometimes rid you of your fears. Um, it is typically used to rebirth oneself allowing that person to receive a completely different and better outlook on life. Um, a lot of negativity that surrounds this drug, unfortunately, due to its recreational use and the dangers that come along with it, um, including if you're doing it by yourself or not in a group of people or not in the right environment or especially not with the shaman that's helping you lead you through the experience. Um, hopefully this documentary will be able to shed positive light on a drug that is practiced in a beautiful uh, beautiful country, typically known for its use of cocaine. Um, I look forward to enlightening people on such an amazing country filled with amazing people and this spiritual cleansing drug that betters your emotional and spiritual wellness.